or was get the documentation about the Stasi in uh, East Germany. Uh, they filmed this in front of our office. What you had to picture before it was uh, during the film uh, uh, works in uh, the office. Uh, so it, it's, a, it's a strange time. So this place uh, had a foundation in the 1950s when Berlin starts to rebuild. And to sit in an old library, it's an uh, amazing thing. What you have full cupboards, you can put some books in, and there is a and there is a, a written uh, inschrift in this uh, book. Uh, uh, you have to love the book. It is a database of knowledge, uh, and uh, in this way, we are now cross. We have cross workers between this book knowledges and the objects so that we are try to uh we try to work on this uh uh on this uh, shape uh so we have a lot of discussion we have a lot of discussions about uh, the solve problems what you want to do but we are coming from a part that uh, we say that architecture is a, a touchable thing so we produce a building uh, on the end, we can uh, we can beat it. We can open doors, and uh, we can uh, have warm rooms, and uh, so we feel a building. So that's why we develop every uh, project uh, with a lot of models. Uh, and uh, I think this is after the new economy of visualization, uh, even a worthful uh, thing to uh, talk about architecture. So not only in this, uh, we like to make uh, one-to-one -one models or we like to um, realize how things uh, uh, get uh, produced. So even this we are doing there. So, but uh, I think a good description about uh, to look in a theory of uh, how you can see things is, uh, it was one book during our study times and later when I teached in Weimar, it was uh, the writings by Wilhelm Flusser. So if you find some books from them, I, they are a lot of in German. I don't know if they are in English so much. Um, and he made great, uh, great series of design theory. And uh, in one of the books, uh, it called Dinge und Undinge, I think si things and uh, non-entities, non uh, he makes a description of a wall across a forest. And... Uh, he looks in this forest in three ways. On the first, he say uh, it's a walking uh, in view uh, or enjoy the forest. So in France, uh, in French, it's much more better. You make you promenade through uh, the forest, and you uh, think about uh, the beautiness of the forest, or you walk in exchange of ideas uh, to uh, exchange ideas with somebody, then the place is equal. So you can go through Paris, you can go through Lausanne or through the forest, uh, but uh, the forest is around you. And the third uh, looking, what he described as a looking uh, when you walk through the forest uh, to look for the way home. And when you do this uh, to look for the way home, then uh, the strange thing happen that uh, when you get the idea uh, in this situation uh, that uh, you look for uh, uh, for a stock uh, and stock uh, for a, um, for a stick to walk easier and when you have this idea on the way to go home to look in the forest for the, uh, for a stick uh, to go easier home, then the crazy thing has happened the forest uh, the forest is changing completely in this moment in uh, in a depot of ideas, which element of the forest can be a stick? And um, this is a crazy thing uh, in a moment when we talk about design. So the walker is projecting uh, on the forest his idea of the stick or of a cane. So, uh, and we ask uh, what the idea is carried. So the idea is uh, it's coming from his own database. What he, what he's, what he has a, a for experience of a stick, so what he used every time, or of the database of uh, cultural heritage, what he what he learned. So he he knew that the grandfather was walking by such a, a stick, or he saw uh, he made he made research on, uh, on Google uh, with this word stick and what every can be a stick, 
or in the third he saw a film with a stick you can beat uh, on the way home if some thing happen or somebody has come and uh, uh, will uh, request you so that is a main th or you can play sport with the stick and uh, that's an amazing thing uh, of design I think that uh, what is in the, in the last I would say in the last uh, hundred years slowly it gets changing that we change from uh, the classical definition, uh, definition of uh, form follows uh, tradition or form follows function. I think uh, every design is more uh, is going slowly and this form follows perception. So uh, in this case, we uh, have to. Dis or in this case, we discuss our projects too, and uh, this is maybe a short description to have a ground of discussion about uh, how we can view on the projects. And um, one of this uh, thing was a project in uh, Berlin when uh, Christian Ring, he was a director of the German Architectural Center in Berlin. Uh, she wrote. Uh, she made a call of paper to some offices and asked us to to make an exhibition uh, under the title Formal X. Uh, you know for what is Formal X? Uh, I explain you in a short way. So Formal X is this formula uh, of the ingredients of Coca-Cola. So it, mo it was more a joke of design or of an idea. And we thought, no, it's really. And we made a, uh, we looked in, in all the newspapers and... Uh, uh, really, there was written that uh, only seven persons know this ingredients of Coca-Cola and this uh, Formula X, or it's called 7X, they has a, a, a budget of $640 million. And we said, it's crazy. We have an exhibition, and when we show the Formula X, uh, and we have a Formula X of architecture, it would be crazy. Uh, and we get rich, maybe. But on the end, it's it's uh, it was a stupid idea to have a Formula X in design. So when you see uh, such uh, researches, somebody is looking for what's the nicest thing. Uh, you have computer graphics to put 64 women uh, pictures of each other, or, or, and then you get such such uh, um, such average of portraits. So this was the last question. Uh, a large question: How we can uh, how we can uh, present uh, make a presentation of architecture, and uh, then uh, we made a call of papers in the office and said to everybody, please look for every media which is in relation of architecture or, or of our work or how we observing architecture. And uh, one part we had uh, before what we shown. It was uh, this collection of objects, but uh, so we decided we make a large table, like uh, we knew it uh, uh, from very historical uh, uh, views. But the other thing was that everybody of us had a large collection of small photos uh, started in the last years with the digital cameras when he's traveling of bus stops, of small garages, of small houses, of uh, canes, of uh, water tanks, or uh, in small electricity buildings. And every these buildings were in any f form or in any function interesting to be keep. So, and then it comes uh, the guy in the office, uh, Sasha, he has a large collection of, of uh, of uh, LPs, and he said, well, you know this cover when we discussed about this musician, uh, you know it has a great sign about the idea, what they mean. So, okay, we can look. Or when you sit in a pub and drink beer, you put your beer on this, uh, uh, I don't know how it looks in, in English, uh, when you put your glass on it, that's a table, it doesn't go as wet. So you have the signs of, uh, of the um, fabrics where they make the beer, and and we, have post, we had postcards, we had comics, and so we had everything together. And then we said, now, now we try to order in, 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 uh, what belongs together, what are small houses are interested. So, but this, everything is, is not made by name architect. 
So it's it's happened on the world, and uh, it could be an uh, experience for us all, and everybody can find this. So this was what we what we want to make uh, to open the eyes for everybody to to see how richness is a world of forms and of of materials and. Um, this maybe can uh, be a good database. So it, it was on this table like in a commun like in a communion, if Jesus uh, sit together and, and discuss about uh, the things. So in the middle was this table with these elements and order of of different uh, or of different uh, combinations. And so uh, we could uh, you see them there. And so we could start uh, in the exhibitions, or, or the visitor could start uh, a discussion about craft and haptics, or about um, form and construction. So we find a whole comic uh, presentation, what we had in our cupboard in, from the childhood, where a lot of forms of architecture were in, some old ones and new ones. So we remembered that in these books we had in GDR times, in, in uh, one year, five maps of Venice uh, from former times uh, where the comic played in. So in case of this, we, we learn more about architecture uh, without real thinking about this. And then we had the large discussion about typological and uh, assembling. This, for instance, their uh, tools or instruments for decompose or repair a bicycle. So, and when we are young, we uh, decompose the bicycle, we repair this, but only for this task, you have such different types of, of, uh, of, of tools with the same aim. Uh, so, and then we had a large um, collection of, of uh, pressing for, pressings to make forms uh, for, for, I don't know, trousers and, and uh, small things. And uh, when we found them, we said, "Wow, this is object-like. This is so prominent. It can be, what can be else? So it has a, a, a spirit. Uh, so they are standing in the office. Uh, then we found this object uh, where we could discuss about ornament and form. So this are heating, uh, so heating elements uh, for for old flats when it's cold in winter. That's a toilet. It's got not frozen. Or we have this collection of." Of uh, boxes for technical for technical instruments. So when you open them, uh, it's an arrangement and organ everything is organized in it, and you can explain it. Uh, these things, uh, what the same problem what you have in architecture too, in some ways. So this was on one side. On the other side, we put the project in a book and we called it in love too, and we said, okay, the visitor. Uh, has own has a chance to view the objects, to view the projects, and and he can make an overlay between both, and and he can uh, he can switch between everything, and he can develop own ideas. Maybe what is a formula X, and and uh, what is worth to keep, uh, and all. So it was a discussion about what is worth and what is useful. So last but not least, uh, let's show some projects and. Uh, uh, cuts a forward uh, in this place. So we use, uh, uh, when you make a project in the office, uh, like this was, was what Monique is bringing from Herzog Dümmerung, when he said every project get a number, I said it's great. Uh, we make in the next level, uh, we say every project get a number and every project had to be worse to be as a uh, tattoo on the skin of our uh, members in the office and uh, on the end it has to be, oh, I have only place for three missing objects and it's full and then I finished architecture. So this was a joke from, uh, it was coming from this. So maybe we have to, uh, that's why we start to, to develop such uh, pictures and uh, we will see when we start uh, this uh, tattoo um, uh, invention. So I think uh, I want to talk about uh, former projects and then to go to new. So a little remembering for uh, for Weimar uh, on the way back. Uh, there we started uh, after our study time with the first project uh, with living houses. Mainly the, when you finish architecture, the best choice is when your parents are coming to you and say, please, now you can build the house for us. Uh, but it's very seldom that the parents uh, give you this uh, chance, but they never knew what you're doing in university and else. And the uh, useful thing is, in the first year, the students start in Weimar with the 
with the picture of a house, when you ask how a house looks like, everybody makes like this. And uh, when they uh, going out of university, uh, they drawing more uh, like this in this time. But the main thing it was that in Weimar exists the first uh, building of the Bauhaus, and it was an experimental uh, building. But usually they want to make a whole open, uh, open uh, space with a lot of these houses, but they couldn't realize only one. And so the town decided to make a competition for a real organization of an old military base. So there it's, uh, it's a large park, there's a castle here outside, and Goethe, the poet, uh, the German poet, was walking there. He had a garden house here, it's well known. And this was full of uh, single family houses. And in the middle of this, there was an empty area before it was used uh, for a military uh, base of the Russian army. And the town decided to make a new urban competition to refill it with, uh, with family houses. And on this case, uh, there was a competition and Adolf Krishanitz was uh, winning this one. And he made an urban plan, it's called uh, Grammatik des Bauens. So he made a grammar of, 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 of he tried to make a grammar of, of uh, urbanism. And he said, I want to have different private grounds in three different scales. So you had one, it's only a uh, wideness of 7 meter 50, other one of uh, 15 meters and large of 22. And then he said, the main rule is, if you have a small one, you have to build the house on two borders. Uh, the middle one, you have to build on one border. And if you have a large one, like here in the top, you have uh, to build a freestanding house. And in this case, you had uh, the job, or an architect had the job, to start a communication uh, with neighborhoods. So you have to log what the neighbor is doing, how he is organizing the house, and when it's still there, so uh, when the house it was filled there, you have to, how I can organize this part of a town on the place that the, um, that the client gets his own house and he gets a private place. And we start with two of the houses and after uh, we uh, reinforced the idea that we look for typological uh, symmetry between the houses and we said every house is a, is a portrait of the owner on once, but on another side uh, we try to use similar things and uh, it's much more better for the quarter uh, when you have not like a pizza when you put everything on it uh, you don't know what is the worst thing in the stomach and, and this we explain to them uh, you have to order the things on a plate and this we have to make in town too. And so uh, on the end, we get a prize for this uh, typological work, what we've done there. So here you can see the first two houses. And there's the explanation. It's standing on the street because of this rule to build on the border. And this is a, the 750 house with the entrance to the street. And this client said, no, I don't want to go on the street. But we said, you have to show that there is an entrance or the house makes a makes an uh, answer to the street and uh, so he goes uh, here in and uh, then he walked uh, to the garden from there. And then we organized the terraces and the privacy uh, in this room. We used the same windows like this in the same structure like the house. So we have uh, closing windows and windows to open. That, and uh, so uh, it's like a genetic code in every house. The other one, the same with the problem of the entrance. So there's a street and it's not possible to sit on this small piece. So there we designed a courtyard. Or this was a house on a, on a corner. It could be higher than the other ones uh, to have a high point uh, of view. Or here, uh, upper ones with a terrace. And in case every client was coming with the idea, I want a house of 250 square meters, and in the end we make like a distillation of this uh, things what he need and uh, so in the end they get smaller and smaller and uh, the idea inside is more the idea of organization uh, living space and, and, and small ways. 
We used uh, the crafts tradition in Thuringia to build wooden windows, uh, like a, like a cupboard, uh, and uh, they are from inside uh, usable. So I explain one house, for instance, uh, uh, this one that was uh, first where we had uh, uh, the question how a house can change with a family inside. So it was a little bit like a minimal housing. So you uh, you have there a small base, uh, basement uh, and for the things to storage and you come in. Uh, it's very small. You come in here, and uh, and you have there a kitchen and a living place. And on the top, you have the chance to make three rooms for three children and maybe the parents. This was the first idea. But then we had the discussion: What is when if the children's going out and and or the owner sells the house? So we have to uh, make a ground plan who can who is changeable inside of the condition of the family. So uh, in case the house was really using uh, like this, so first uh, two persons live there alone and then they get the first children and uh, they cut a piece inside for a, a children's room and uh, so it was changing every time. And on the end there was a small office in it uh, and uh, there was a meeting place. So this was the idea of minimalism and in, like this organization of the boxes what I shown you before, uh, how you can change inside uh, of uh, volume uh, the use. So this is an empty house here and, and uh, there's a mixture between small uh, graphic office and uh, kitchen and living place. Uh, and at the top you had small boxes like when you go with train and uh, you have this uh, apartments. Uh, and this was a place for the children. And outside this privacy with the terrace. And so we choose all materials in a very rough uh, condition so that uh, the changing is possible and uh, is never finished at all. So this for some expressions. And the other uh, project, uh, similar but with another problem, was uh, the discussion about uh, to build the house on this border uh, of a ground and uh, how the sun can come from the neighbor to uh, to the owner, and we start a long design uh, how we can make such a wall. And uh, on the end, we remembered on Duchamp to find like an object trouvé to have something. Why we have to design every day new things? Why we cannot? Uh, make a remembering of things what is uh, interesting or what was interesting on the place. So there was a tradition in Weimar that they uh, designed the 60s concrete elements for large uh, living uh, houses. Here you see the plan first. Here's the entrance, there's a courtyard. You go in the house, you have one side the kitchen, another side uh, the uh, living place, and on the top a bathroom, a sleeping room. And this area, you can drop a second floor if you want, uh, if you want to reuse the house like in this project before. And uh, we had this collection of this concrete elements in, in this East GDR living area. So this was a time where architect or the ornament was forbidden and uh, everybody was planning in a very simple way. You have to make a thousand of flats per year and uh, the ornament or the design exists only in this uh, in this elements, and uh, in our collection we had this, and uh, then we uh, start to write letters on the design or the former designers of these elements, and one of them was a pro former professor in, in Weimar, and he uh, was very proud when he got our letter that we want to reproduce one of his elements, and <clears throat> but for us it was a a long learning proce process, how to make a form for concrete, how the concrete stays in, and uh, how you can organize uh, that the form will be uh, the end able to hold everything. And, uh, and the second way it was to find somebody who makes the concrete, uh, not a form, they we made in the office by ourselves, uh, but uh, how, who produced uh, this form. So on the end, we give it uh, as a project to the university, so the students produce this hundred stones for this wall, and on the end, uh, we had a uh, hundred of them, and we could uh, make this wall, and uh, 
on uh, the client was proud about this uh, nice uh, uh, wall and uh, he keep a little bit another kind of uh, building culture on the way. So this is one thing uh, maybe uh, what I told in the exhibition to go with open eyes through architecture and uh, work in an easy way uh, what you can do. And here you can see that the, the client could change between the view outside and the kitchen and the view in of the house and with curtains he can choose how uh, far you can look out or uh, when the privacy starts. So that was the idea of this house. So completely other way to design things uh, was when we had a project in Magdeburg. It's an industrial town in, in uh, middle Germany. And uh, the government uh, phoned us uh, for a solution for a youth camp. Uh, and they had problems uh, that uh, the sanitary facilities were in the wrong condition and the police uh, want to close uh, the camp. And they said, we need uh, an office who order very short, in a short time, uh, new co uh, uh, sanitary containers, put them in a forest and uh, put some wood outside uh, that it looks not so ugly, that they said. And say, okay, uh, but this is not our uh, work, how we uh, solve problems. And we said, one, you see here, the, this is near a lake. Uh, so the, in the 30s, they took out a lot of sand to build uh, the highways in Germany. So there's a lake where they go to, to uh, um, swim and to fish. And on the top, there is a, a connection between uh, two large rivers in Germany. And there is a real traffic on the water with these containers. Not so large like this, but uh, similar. And we said, OK, but the town is an industrial town. And, and the river there and the containers, everybody knew this. And uh, why we cannot make a project like this and uh, put the container on the forest? And every children is playing Lego with these uh, bricks to put things together, Playmobil. And why we cannot design in this case? So the, we made very short uh, visualization of, of, uh, of this and carried it to the um, government. And they said, well, it's crazy. I've never seen this before. Uh, but if you mean you can build this in this time, please do it. And uh, then uh, we looked for containers. We said only this has to be the color. And uh, a steel worker who made uh, two elements. So in a container, the main thing is you have a plastic window for air condition, but it's ugly. So we said when you want to go to sanitary facilities, you, have, you need the light from the top so nobody can log in. And if it's rain, you need an entrance. And this we uh, made it like plug and play with this. So uh, then we, we built it in uh, three weeks. And uh, it was standing. We made photos. And uh, when we, was, we showed the project in a gallery in Dresden, they ask us, uh, when you start to build this? So everybody thought it's a visualization and not real. So it looked like an uh, uh, air base uh, from, uh, on the moon, a little bit like this. But it, the interesting thing that was that the children really start to like this during the building process. And they ask, and how oh, yeah, can I help, and, and how it works. And, but it was so simple, so understood. And, uh, on the end, uh, we had the solution to make uh, inside a curtain uh, to find the difference between women and uh, or boys and girls. And we made a, a mapping of dolphins and, and sharks. Uh, so we said the women are dolphins and the boys are the sharks in the camp. Uh, but <clears throat> in this way, the government said, no, no, stop, no, f no more fun. <laughs> And uh, so, so this was only the visualization. But there was a discussion about how with graffiti on, on, on these things. If you, if you be the first to make graffitis, uh, what, the, what the children, uh, how they follow this. So this is still only, it was still only an idea. So this is so one meaning. With, with architecture, you can occupy the, a new place, and you can define. Uh, you make a division, uh, um, definition of a new place. But 
the main work in architecture what we have in the last years it was that architecture really exists and we have to do works uh, with reorg make reorganization of buildings or or to uh, look for temporary use in buildings and another example was in uh, in Weimar with the Straßenbahn depot so there we we had our work it was more like uh, this is artist work you can see uh, from the Chinese artists uh, um, to cover yourself on a place and and the meaning was to be uh, make architecture with uh, accurateness or to be careful uh, what you're doing there so in this case that the use of the building uh, we are now only for two years and after we will see so our aim was uh, like here in this building uh, to keep it and uh, to hold it for new ideas after this temporary use. So we, lose, we used a very low budget for this uh, tram away depot uh, and we talked with the client and said, okay, the first work what we have to do is we uh, core out all things what the user built in this depot in the last 40 years. So the town had, the, had a tram uh, only till 1951, uh, then they uh, sold it and uh, then small enterprises, they built brick walls and uh, made small pieces in, in this uh, large uh, halls. And so we said one of the, uh, of the money we spent to put all things away, what is not from this time. And then uh, we, led, uh, we led it in this raw condition. And um, the next step, uh, young students said we want to open a free uh, a cinema place uh, in, in Weimar. And then we uh, ordered two containers. They cost nothing when you have used ones. And this we put in this large hall and you can transport them every time away and you can, uh, you can switch uh, the, the size of this hall. And we put a second like this project before uh, as a sanitary facility. And all everything, uh, all the rest, uh, you can use for uh, uh, musician evenings, for meetings, for workshops, and, uh, and for the cinema. And so it was a starting uh, uh, point um, more for a new life of this building. So we put the container in, we cut some holes in it for the cameras, and uh, the students collect all furnitures and uh, put in this hall. and. Uh, it was the only cinema in Weimar where you can smoke during films, and uh, there uh, they have shown they are the real interesting films. So now it's the best cinema in the town, and uh, not only students go there, so it's very in fashion to go in this, uh, in this cinema. And in another room, uh, they could realize an exhibition by Rebecca Holm, uh, well known artist. Uh, she made a project to Buchenwald, and uh, so it's a part of the town. So another work was for us to uh, make uh, decors and to look for installation. And we had a long, long um, discussions with, with uh, a small enterprise and to find things uh, in, in the production, what you have uh, to put in a building that it looks like uh, new, but it looks like, like old too. And sometimes it's very difficult to find them. So you have uh, this lamps from uh, Norway um, 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 ferries uh, like this, uh, you can beat on it, they hold everything. So we put them there and uh, we, we had this discussion. So this is the old uh, installation, we keep them and, and today nobody can do this. So uh, today it looks like this, but we said you have to put it in this factory uh, like uh, to see where the, uh, where the electricity is going. And uh, still today, it's in this uh, in this balance, this building uh, that uh, they look for use, but it works uh, for this temporary uh, thing. So that is what you mean. Architecture is not only be loud uh, every time; uh, it can be very uh, noiseless. This is we finished uh, one month before in Berlin. It's a similar project uh, uh, in Friedrichshain near the Berghain, it's the largest techno club of the world and beside it's such old industrial building, uh, it's a former uh, workshop for 
uh, old train engines and uh, we keep them only on the outside with a very low budget and hold it and put two containers beside uh, and now a small office of designers is around and uh, you know, we will see how the building is, will be developed, uh, the area. <coughs> so there you see uh, a view. So this is a task, uh, uh, important task, and I think in architectural work too. Uh, another uh, larger project is an arrangement, what I told you before, uh, or, or a re, uh, co reordering of buildings. That was a competition, uh, what we won in Freudenstein and Freiberg, it's in Saxonia. Um, and uh, the interesting history of this town is that mainly Freiberg, nobody knew this, is the heart of, uh, of the proudness of Saxonia. So in Germany, like when you know Bavaria, uh, they're very proud areas where they had very rich uh, kingdoms uh, in former times. And Saxonia is one with Dresden, uh, it's well known too, but uh, usually uh, the proudness is coming from Freiberg or the richness. But there they found the first silver uh, in the area in the uh, 11th century. And uh, this is, a, you see, a, a ground plan of the old town. And uh, there was a wall around, and in the wall uh, uh, build uh, was this castle for protect this, this richness and protect the, the, the silver mines. And uh, the thing was uh, that uh, they had in the beginning a, a very beautiful Renaissance uh, castle. And uh, the main thing in Germany is that everything is changing uh, somewhere, and like this, so the. Uh, the kings moved from uh, Freiberg to Dresden, and there they built this baroque city uh, when you travel there and you can visit it with uh, paintings of Canaletto and uh, on the Elbe and and Freiberg died a little bit in this history, so on one side they had this uh, this knowledge of of mountainness, so they had a foundation of the oldest university there uh, of mountain uh, studies. And on the other side, uh, the castle uh, was a little bit like dropped out of, of uh, the view of the town. So uh, in the 19th century, they decided to give this castle to the military government. And he uh, said, we need a storage place for uh, uh, military things, and uh, especially for corn for the soldiers. And they put inside a corn depot. So we found in the competition uh, amazing building. So we had on one part a castle of Renaissance and the other thing uh, a house of uh, industrial history. Uh, so there we had wood inside, uh, 20 meter long wood uh, beams, uh, 200 years old, smelling uh, for corn and, uh, and uh, for wood. And uh, the competition looked for two solutions. One was uh, to put in the castle the largest private collection of minerals on one side, on the other side, uh, to make a depot for the whole books and writings uh, of the Saxonian mining arch archive. And in the competition, we had a large discussion uh, how you can realize this. And it was a little bit like when you are climbing and uh, you have too many things on, on, on your uh, on your backpack and you have things to throw away. And but they. Everything is very useful and everything you need. Uh, but on the end, uh, you can climb on the top only when you throw things away. So it was a hard decision. And then we said uh, we uh, cut the whole histor historical uh, uh, wood out of one part and we put inside um, like, a, like an arc uh, to keep this knowledge. And on the other side, we order the things for the museum and on the rest uh, of the room there are a restaurant and uh, on, the, on this tower there is uh, offices uh, inside and so we, we had a long way to all of the things in, 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 the, in, the, in the existing shape of the castle. So we said the existing shape of the castle is in the knowledge of the town and the heritage uh, since 500 years. And we want to keep it from the outside. So we don't want to put things on it and elevators and, and to build beside. 
So every bit, everything has to happen in in this castle, and the, and this way we we won the competition, and uh, we had a strange building site. In two years, we have to, had to realize uh, all uh, we had to do a range and to realize all things. And here you see this this archive on the top with the depots, and under you're sitting under this, and there you can learn about uh, the Saxonian heritage. And inside you feel the gap between the old and the new, what you put in, like here and another place. And uh, and then we start to organize and to look for for a genetic code, how to uh, form things. So we f we found there. Uh, Elements and uh, we designed them too. Here you see such nose; they hold the old wall. So this uh, inside this archives holds the old wall that is not breaking down, and uh, there is a part of the air condition of it. And like in former times, you have these uh, funnels to transport the corn from one level to the other one. So this format was inscribed uh, of the whole area before, and we said. We we put this this uh, funnels out that everybody can see or can ask what this something in in this castle has to be new or something uh, has to uh, be a question uh, what is behind so it this was a little bit a provocation um, uh, for the for the town but uh, after when we built this uh, the jury uh, was standing in the courtyard of the castle and they said oh I. Couldn't imagine that you built this really uh, like you had drawn this before, uh, but uh, I think it's important for the um, discussion in, in this town. So this is a, and this black box is a whole knowledge of mining in Saxonia, and there you can find everything from the first silver mine to the uh, wages uh, and and uh, writings. Uh, what a a coal miner, uh, it's earned in 1989. Uh, so, uh, so it's it's important in all. So, in this case, you see uh, the library under this, uh, where the people come and make research, and on the top is this whole knowledge uh, before. And uh, there's other part of the library uh, where you ask, and in this carol, so you have a small carol, and uh, on the top two cabins uh, to make private research. Then you have a place for uh, communication for exhibition on the other side, um, and uh, this is a view back to the uh, library part with the two gates uh, uh, in this. So this is a ground plan, and on the end uh, there were two things missing. So when was the main entrance between the two uh, two user? Uh, or we, on the end we have three four users. We had the town; they want to use the place. We have the restaurant, they want to use the small rooms, and we had the mining archive here, and we have the, um, on the top, we have the, uh, the museum. And uh, then, we had to, then we had to decide uh, to, on the end, what we don't want to, to put things uh, like additional to, uh, but we hold it on all the ground plans, uh, like it was a castle in the developing before. And so we have a main entrance building, and there it's a small uh, building where they bring the documents and to clean them and uh, to bring it in the, uh, in the castle. So this were studies of, of the, the topological of the, these two additionals, like uh, you can see here. Uh, and it was the same that we said everything has to follow this genetic code uh, and design uh, that but the opportunity was in former time in the castle lived the lived the king and and he decided uh, which is in fashion and now we had five clients and everybody had the idea you want to have this and you want to have this and then we had then we said you can have everything but you have follow this same genetic code and and this is a, the ground plan what you make and in this case we can we can choose so uh, so we found a language between like a language between each other and then uh, we talked with them uh, when we explained uh, uh, the ideas, how the design, uh, and we looked for different uh, themes or uh, for different topics. And one it was Drusen and Inlays. They were coming from uh, the mining history, uh, what we learned there. So in, in Saxonia, or when you meet in the world mineries, they have this sign on, uh, on every jacket. So they're very proud to show it. So the one is... Uh, 
is a hammer and the other is the schlegel. So you hold it and you beat with the hammer on it. And in this case, you, you make the stone smaller and you, you're going in, 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 the, in the underground. And so we visit uh, two different uh, mineries in, in, in Germany. This is uh, Kali, it's, uh, for, uh, it's, it's salt, uh, where they're going out. And the other, it was in, in Freiberg, uh, where they have uh, fluorite and uh, other minerals. And this is a ex crazy experience for us uh, to see how the people lived under the ground. To, so you have around you everything, it's the same. You are like a, like a mouse in, in a cheese, what we had yesterday, or... Uh, or uh, other animal and apple. So in this case, they have the experience of, of space. And then we ask how we can transport this living condition of a, of a miner uh, in this building. And uh, there were two things. One is that uh, they very hard uh, workers. So they beat this in Freiburg. They beat this really hard stone. They give us a hammer and you say, okay, now make a piece that we have to go one meter than this, so you beat and it's nothing happened. So you can imagine that they uh, made this in former times without the dynamite. But uh, so we said we have to make the same of the concrete. So we want to show in this uh, in this um, archives uh, that the concrete is not made by uh, it's look, look plastical or it has a shape of the form. Now we want to show what's the ingredients of this and. So we opened the structure on, on the main places, and uh, you could find, uh, you, you can read a little bit in this. And on the end, everybody asked, what's this? So this is uh, when you put the, uh, the steel and the concrete, uh, you have the distance between uh, the form and, uh, and, um, and the steel. And so you, the concrete is telling about, uh, more about itself. This is one thing, and the other thing was, when you are under, in the underground, you find a stone, and it looks like nothing, and then you open him, and you are in such doos, and there you find minerals in a very clear and form. So this is what we learned in the exhibition. You see these minerals, and you never can imagine that the nature made this. So you have to travel there, and you have to look, and we, we are every time joking with the professors, and you're asking, who made this mineral in your, uh, in your, work, in your workshop, and uh, that is not from the nature, and he said, no, no, it's nature, this is not human-made, and you find colors in a strange form, and then we decide uh, to make, to transport a little bit in this building, and we had three parts, one, it was the entrance building, and uh, we colored in this uh, magenta uh, and in this feeling, so we transport a little bit this feeling from the underground uh, in uh, the view and the other. It's a central courtyard where the offices are. So uh, the people who work there, they look every time in books and, and uh, it's dusty and uh, they look out. But when they leave the office, they're standing in this courtyard and they wake up really and uh, it's like... Uh, they eat a peppermint uh, two times a day and uh, wake up and they work much more uh, kind of you. So they're very proud of this and it, it works really. And the other thing, there was a jello part. So they are a little bit the colors of Saxonia and they had a uh, uh, history how you can produce in a very fast uh, building condition uh, colors. So we hadn't any time to work with an artist and look uh, which color real is uh, physically uh, possible. <clears throat> and there you see the sign for the curtains inside that we use the, as an ornament and uh, or when you find uh, these cupboards uh, for the museum or the library in white the, but the, the books are uh, uh, responsible. And another thing it was uh, no, the, the theme of new and old so we had very old columns we keep them and we said okay you have to be a part of all uh, of the library it was a struggle, but they said, no, I can put the cupboard there if you let this column there. But we say, yeah, but it's a history of the building and you have to work with it. Uh, or here another part, it's uh, where they clean the books. Uh, so we keep this old structure or we keep the part of this old wall. Uh, and uh, you have the layers uh, readable <coughs> or in the restrooms. Uh, it was in former times uh, the wine depot of the king. We keep it. 
or in the main uh, entrance of the museum, you have the old ceiling uh, to see and uh, the, the columns of uh, the structure of the 80th century to hold uh, everything. Then another place we had to repair the building, so we, we said new had equal uh, old. Uh, so in Germany, you have when you make a project, you have very hard discussions with uh, um, how it's called um, Behindertenbeirat. Uh, that's a commission of disabled people who say uh, that the hand trail is going uh, 30 centimeter longer and uh, to, uh, you pay attention when you go up and uh, you have to make a hand trail around uh, this one to going there that the old people can, can walk safety in every place. But we say, but no, this is the first staircase of, of uh, not round staircases in, the, in, in Saxonia, this is a straight one, but they, have, they learned how to make a staircase in an old way, they made mistakes everywhere. We have to hold this old uh, hand trail, and then we had a discussion uh, with the government and said, please protect this old. They have no worth. There's only a piece of wood and a piece of steel. But we said it's, this is very important for this uh, time. But So we keep them uh, with this small trick, and we reproduce, on, we reproduce on some uh, um, corners uh, the old style, but following the, uh, following the idea of the first. Or here, um, the former kitchen uh, of the king, he was cooking, and the whole roof, uh, when we made the renovation, was full of this. Uh, when you cook and uh, with an open fire, you get a black uh, roof. And we said, no, we will let this. And we put the minerals under, and uh, everybody can see that this, this kitchen. Right? Usually, when in Germany they make projects, they paint every white, and every has to be clean. and. Uh, when they want to see a, a historical, lovely building, they go to Italy and they like Venice, uh, how to get is, is dropping down. But it's very hard to keep this in Germany. So you have to travel there and to look, uh, have to look to the minerals, I think. Uh, another theme where there was lanes, prince rails, uh, like this. So there we had these old windows of the time uh, of the of the um, depot, we keep them in the facade or we made copies of the windows uh, to, to have behind it's our cave but to see what it was before and now you can walk around and you can read uh, different, uh, different uh, inlays uh, of use and reuse. So this is what you told before, uh, this is code of forms uh, what we had between the different users, uh, it was a table, it was a hand trail, uh, what we uh, copied there, or it was uh, where the books are uh, on presentation, and uh, uh, and it was an entrance building, and uh, every time we uh, we try to uh, reinform uh, a lot of element there, and. Uh, the interesting thing was on the end uh, when we discussed about the place or the um, the courtyard inside that the professor said that the people made the main invention in mathematics uh, uh, on this mineral. So the first mathematic ideas uh, in research uh, they found in, in uh, forms of minerals in this geometrical and mathematics forms. And then we said maybe this is an idea to uh, make an uh, open space, so the, the courtyard, it's an open space, everybody come there, can come there when the institutions are closed, and it's a larger like carpet of the history and of the research in the town, and uh, maybe we can find a kind of design uh, to talk about and uh, to start uh, like the first uh, when you go in the building and the red carpet's coming out, when this is a carpet with information of the history of this place and uh, we designed with a landscape uh, uh, architecture uh, office uh, this uh, stone forms uh, with different uh, surfaces so when they wet they look three-dimensional and uh, it really starts a game for the children to know what is the octaeda, dedocaeda and these names and uh, so uh, they start uh, to uh, make information uh, Long in front of the museum and to start to talk about this. 
So this is on the end, it, uh, it looks like today this castle and uh, it was a great success. So they have 100,000 visitors uh, per year for such a small town. That is a lot and uh, they had a good discussion about uh, this project and about this what you can see. So the last, uh, what I want to present is this uh, Anna Seger School in Berlin, the completely other way to uh, work with low cost and low budget. Um, so we have in, in, in Berlin in moment great changing and the discussion about uh, the school system. Every school uh, wants to uh, combine uh, uh, children from the first to the tenth class and uh, so they have to reorganize uh, schools. And there the government asked us for a small um, building for the first till the uh, third class, uh, boys and girls. And they had only a place to build a new building in the former uh, garden. Uh, they had uh, pieces in school where they learned gardening. And uh, but this was 20 years ago. Today nobody's doing this. Uh, <coughs> and it's a pity, I think. Um, so nobody knows where the rabbits come from, so everybody knows it's, I can buy them. Uh, but how they grow it in a town like Berlin, uh, the children sometimes don't know what it is. Uh, the experience uh, like uh, Jamie Oliver made in London when you read the books, uh, when he discuss what this and what this, he hold a rabbit uh, and uh, a carrot and, and the Twix, and everybody was knew what the Twix is, but not what the carrot is. Um, so we had to play in a school in this area, and we uh, had long uh, discussion about how to put the building there. So in this case, uh, we have new uh, we had new family houses, and there was a garden uh, area for small garden houses, and and there we had the idea to solve a lot of the green and uh, to make a small courtyard and look for a topological thing to order classrooms and. Uh, to have a floor that's open and uh, and make some uh, place to stay for the children. So when when you have a, a task in Germany, they look very hard. How large is a, is a is the classroom and uh, how many floor you can you can build in this budget. For the end, we we find a form. Uh, what's combine both of them? We had a, a large entrance uh, to keep them dry. We had the, the teachers in the, in the, like in the, on a the snake uh, head to have everywhere to visit what they're doing. Uh, and uh, we designed this building in, in a forest. And uh, on the first, it was every time when we saw how the leaves uh, looks like when you see the sky and he makes shadows on the ground. and. This was one idea to to uh, bring the building on the place on another way to <coughs> so we we ordered the facades and, and small windows to looking out and the floors and the class they have sm large rooms and you saw uh, this idea starting with the family houses that you have outside windows we're using inside the window as an as a cupboard. Uh, and and different when it's changed and it's going inside. But the other way is that uh, the cheapest way in Germany to build uh, official buildings is to make it by bricks, isolation, and plaster. So that's the cheapest way. But we we said that could be uh, a proposal uh, on one way. But the other way we have a tradition of uh, how it's called Stuckelustro graffiti. And other things, so surfaces starts to to talk another way, and then uh, we found a thing in in, uh, in Berlin's a lot of military shops that they they solved uh, camouflage screens or masks from from the army, and we said no, why to uh, work again with a ready-made for low cost and. Uh, to bring a facade a little bit uh, to to tell about the the, the um, location, and so we use uh, this uh, camouflage uh, letter and put it on a facade uh, like a mask uh, and uh, start uh, to have this point of view what we uh, had with the leaves on it uh, with the play with shadow. 
and in this case the school uh, keeps their own uh, language and the place and inside we followed the idea uh, to have a more like a sunroom uh, every time it, it's equal if outside rain or something else so this is where the uh, people from fifth till uh, six years they're coming in and uh, they protect a little bit in this area and uh, it's similar to this project what you've seen before um, when you have uh, such rooms and we design only the small elements of hand trails and uh, electricities and then they go in this white classroom and there's every clean and everything is a white paper and today it looks colorful but they paint things and put it on the walls and, and they occupy this whiteness like when you get a white paper from your teacher and he say please write your uh, thinking down and uh, only on small parts uh, the, the yellow is coming in the rooms uh, and uh, there the closest has to be in the room not more in the floor that's a pity uh, but there we use the same thing. This is this military uh, um, element uh, for for freedom in this moment. What we used, so we changed uh, military options to uh, a very, uh, I think, the best way to teach to to children and to show them uh, how to reuse things. So the air cans coming through, and uh, they have a place. And this is a, a classroom uh, with the view out to the old buildings, and <clears throat> you can open the window with the same uh, uh, structure that the children are not falling down, uh, but they have fresh air. So, okay, that is what you show you about uh, our view of point of architecture. We can stop there, or we have the Skihütte if you want to hear more about this. But on the end, you have to... I told you, but I couldn't know how it long takes in English uh, to explain you. Okay, so the, maybe the strangest uh, project, what we've done in the last year, uh, it was uh, the Schutzhütte on the Fichtelberg. Maybe explanation uh, for... Uh, small object with uh, a large discussion so one opinion what we had uh, it was uh, the sentence of Virilio other guy uh, you had to read maybe uh, he's better to read in French uh, for you um, he said that the clearest uh, perception is uh, exception of abstinence and uh, this was uh, the starting point for us so we had the chance to make a small project for us on the highest mountain in, uh, in East Germany. It's amazing. It's two, 1,240 meters high. It's nothing for the, uh, for the uh, Swedes. Uh, but for us, it's uh, very high. And it's a place where, th for us, every time winter. And uh, nobody wants to live there, really. And uh, uh, when we went there in, in holidays... Uh, as a children and later and now with our children uh, we have the, uh, the lane in the snow in the, in the image or we have uh, footprints uh, uh, of a deer and so uh, the observation is every time present uh, in this area and so uh, we had the chance to, to get the old building on the street uh, on a small uh, village with uh, 200 inhabitants but it's outside of the village and uh, this building it's an, it, it is a prefabricated bungalow it's called a uh, uh, small holiday building uh, from the 70s or 60s they, the government had the idea every worker has to, has to be able to buy such a small building and he can put it everywhere and it, it's very low cost and uh, we uh, make a prefabrication about these things and this one uh, uh, they sold uh, three years before and but inside it was in a terrible condition it was not made for uh, for such a high mountains and for uh, such a snow area but the interesting thing is it was standing outside of a village so it was standing in landscape and the building rule in germany is 
uh, you never really, it's very difficult to build outside of a village or you build uh, in, in nowhere. And uh, if, you, if you find something like this, you have uh, the, the right to keep this place, but you cannot really uh, make it a double size or you can change it in a, in a strange way. And uh, so we had the discussion, uh, yeah, what can we do? So the wood, it's not worth to keep. Uh, restorating it's not worse, uh, but we are missing a toilet and the kitchen and the storage and but we can uh, make an additive of 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 uh, it was like twenty percent of the of the of the mass of the building you can add to the to a to a existing building and then we said yeah yeah we keep the building we write it to the government uh, we keep it and we put a little bit concrete outside and inside uh, we have this old building and so we keep the place and uh, and on this way we get a permission to build and uh, and this we made so uh, we looked for a for a, a enterprise uh, what worked in this way but so for them it was uh, stupid they want what to what want to they ask every time what you want to do here uh, with this old wood and uh, it's not possible and uh, but he went crazy and followed us uh, and so we keep the, the shape uh, or the surface more or less of this old building um, and uh, we used uh, it for the form for the new uh, and put it around and uh, fit a little bit concrete inside and ready was the project so we had no more to do that was all so it's a copy uh, of the house inside and outside you have the addition of these uh, two rooms. Uh, so this is where the discussion was so hard, but it was so simple. So there we had the old uh, form and uh, today it looks like this. So if somebody is coming and asking for the old, we can show him uh, that it still exists uh, yet. And uh, it was the one uh, decision to design, so we had cupboards of concrete, everything is made by concrete and only the addition is what we made, uh, they of our collection of these things, here you see uh, uh, um, how it's called, uh, a place to wash uh, from the industry uh, workers uh, when they were usually uh, 20 meters long and they put water in it and they turn around so the water can go away or we uh, used chairs and uh, lamps. And the other thing it was how to organize the house inside. And we said, when we work in this simple way, we remember on, on this uh, drawing of the book uh, of, uh, how it's called, I forgot. Um, no, I will, it just will come later. Of the simple farmhouses, so we have in the middle the fire as of the humans and the animals. And uh, in this way we organize it. No more. Very simple, and uh, this we want to make. So we have the fire inside, and we have no animals, but one has to play the animals, and we have two sleeping places, and every uh, community, uh, every official place is around the fire. So the fire gets an important uh, heart of the building, and this building is made only by concrete. We had the discussions about uh, uh, building physicians. Uh, is it necessary to make insulation? And he said, now think about, it. you are, in the year you are 20 days in this building. And you are not the whole day there, you make a fire, you stand around the fire, you cook a, a soup, uh, you make a, a hot wine, and uh, then you go in your sleeping bag uh, with a zero or uh, five under zero degree, and uh, you don't need isolation. That's stupid. Uh, when you calculate what's the insulation cost and what's the geological thing of the isolation in all, uh, you have to think a completely other way and say, yeah, why not? Let's try this. And this was the idea. Um, and the other idea where uh, there's the organi uh, organization of the building, it was the building is for us the traveling from town to nature. And usually, this is a well-known bus stop in Germany. This is a bus stop of Kiel Baulitz from uh, Tokyo Hotel, if you know, uh, this band. So in this bus stop, he was standing every day and waiting for the bus to go to Magdeburg. So he was in, lived in a small village. So we said a bus stop 
it's a it's a place you wait for for a transport unit and you go to the town and this pla this is what we make is this different so we are coming from the town and we want to go in the nature so we have to turn around this and uh, that's why we said this is a back door to the nature so they w we don't want to have windows to the street where we enter coming with the car uh, enter to this backstage and from there we see the nature and think about what we really need in our life uh, and on the end it's get more little like a monastery uh, place uh, in this uh, what you made and then we designed some some uh, some uh, cupboards uh, this is a uh, the a seed of an old car fiat uh once in 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 spain it's a seat and russia a lada and in italy a fiat and so this is this is what you is you bring in, in this seed you're coming in this place and you can sit in the seat and you can look to the nature and uh, you can open these windows and uh, the nature in the night the the deers are coming down and you hear it when you sleep when they walk around and uh you uh, you can only survive with very strange uh, equipment uh, there, but so when we've been there, uh, we sleep first time we were sleeping, and our children ask on the wall. It's it's it was uh, so. Uh, we ask what is this on the wall, and say yeah, these are ice flowers, uh, and you know what is the ice flower? You know. Uh, so this is uh, the feeling what we have there, and. Uh, uh, friends of us, they use it uh, in uh, rainy times to make downhill biking there. So there's a well-known downhill biking uh, thing. So there's a discussion about which elements are really necessary. And we were joking in a moment about the uh, necessary to have a fire. So uh, f two years before, everybody had fire. So he was a smoker. So the smoker was about the keeper of the fire, but now smoking forbidden. So we lost the real fire. I don't know if uh, how in which way it goes. So this is the center, and when you are there, everybody stand around this uh, uh, heater, and uh, and this is the same. Uh, I think our children don't use this after isolation. Uh, when you heat the building, uh, that water is melting, and uh, you have such uh, uh, historical uh, views on it. So then we designed a table of old things and, and from the collection of these old chairs, uh, we, we used them. And the wood, uh, they, it's uh, cotton of the mountains there uh, by the broken trees uh, during a hurricane. And this we put in and this is a central room. Here you can sleep on the top and sleep down. And you have only this window uh, to the sky and uh, the window in the forest. And with this picture, I can wish you a cold and snowy winter uh, and a, a good project. Thank you for listening. <laughs>